Well, hello, my name's Dave. Well, I wanted to talk to VB36 owners. Came up with another idea for our, for our lathe. That was a tool caddy close at hand to where you're working. So, uh, as I've talked to you guys about in the past, I don't like uh, drilling into the lathe, attaching things. So, I designed this to fit over the tailstock stand. Uh, it simply fits over it, screws around it, and it can be removed in a matter of getting rid of these uh, screws down here. So I've got room for seven tools right here. I simply use PVC. I'll show you that in a minute. And then I also, by adding this piece down here, I was able to create a holder for the tailstock in the back so it's not laying against the steel and worrying about breaking off the handle. Or, uh, you know, the owner's manual talks about putting a, a bolt in here and a leather strap, that type of thing. This way I just lay it back, it sits in a cradle, done. So uh, let me change the camera, move it around a bit, and uh, show you what's what. Okay, first thing, it was uh, simply two inch PVC pipe. I cut them to length. I use a Fosner bit to drill a notch for the, the knobs on my tools. On the bottom I put a V-notch on both sides knowing that the uh, sawdust would build up. On this side over here I've got a, a space of about a half inch at the bottom so I can just blow the dust out. So that's it. I have them in here tight. I've got a wedge on both ends here holding these tight so when the lathe is running it doesn't rattle. Alright, let me uh, take a minute and show you the the uh, tailstock. Alright, simply put, this is just the, the piece that holds the box on the bottom. It's sitting on the uh, tool tray. Uh, as you can see, there is a notch cut in down here at the bottom and uh, the quill just simply lays in that and that works real well. So, okay, let me show you real quick how that works. All you have to do, bring your tailstock down to the end Roll it back, lay it in the cradle, notice the handle's not hitting, everything uh, fits real well. So that was quick and easy. So the other thing I mentioned was at the, the very bottom, we have about a half inch, three quarter inch hole so that we can blow the sawdust up out that builds up. And uh, again, this panel can come right off if it has to. So anyway, quick, easy, and uh, Kept my tools at hand.